Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Ken Parr. I'm at Neocon on the seventh floor, second day of the show, and I'm in the Metro floor slash Aspecta space, and I'm here with Russ Rogg and Harlan Stone. Guys, you doing okay? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, Kemp. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Yeah. Harlan, how about yourself? Hey, Kemp, I'm great. Yeah, Thanks. Good. For me. But this is big news, and one of the reasons I want to do this interview is because you are pulling the wrapper off of a major global brand called Aspecta in the LVT category. Now, let's get to that in just a minute. First, let's just a little background. Russ, I believe you spent a lot of your career at Wilson Art, right? That's correct, Kemp. I was with Wilson Art Flooring in a variety of different capacities for nearly 13 years. And then I joined the Metrofloor organization in 2011, so I've been here just a little over three years. And Harlan, this is a family-owned company, and you're one of the family members, right? I am, and my entire career, 33 years of it, I've been working in this organization. Yeah, that's another point I want to make. A lot of people may not realize that Metrofloor has been out there making LVT since the 70s. So at the beginning of the whole LVT product category, you really have Amtico and Metrofloor were, were the two of the pioneers. Is that right? That's correct. For us, it all started in Taiwan, and it was part of an innovation in materials that allowed you to start printing. Prior to that, all vinyl flooring was solid. And we used a, a technology called transparent semi-rigid PVC film, and you print it on the back of it. And that's the first time you had laminated printed vinyl tiles. And that happened for us in the early 70s. All right, so you're rolling out the Aspecta brand, and we're at Neocon, which is the center of the commercial interior furnishings market. So you're making a major statement about where Metro Floor is going in the commercial business, right? I think that that's safe to say, as we mentioned earlier, Kemp, uh, prior to the interview, this is uh, at least our third year in a row since I've been here with the organization where we've participated in Neocon. Uh, the prior two years, we were here under the Metro Floor Corporation banner, typically promoting the products under our existing umbrella, both in dryback, grip strip products, as well as click. This year, we chose an entirely different approach because we wanted to really establish ourselves as the true leader that we think we are in this category, and specifically a true leader in the contract LVT arena. We built this brand and this product portfolio that we now know as Aspecta. It's going to be available naturally here in the United States. But one of the other unique things about this brand is it's going to be available worldwide, which is why the relationship between myself and the Stone family is so important, because while I will be responsible for the brand here in the United States, it will be the Stone Enterprise that will make Aspecta successful in other parts of the world. And to be a player in the commercial market, I mean, the ante is you have to have striking aesthetics, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but you also have got to perform, and you're actually with this product stepping up some of the gauge and wear layer and performance of the product, right? Absolutely. We have in our existing arsenal of products anything ranging from a 2.0 millimeter gauge to a 3.0, ranging in wear layer from 6, 12, and 20 mils. But that's about where the portfolio has ended for us. So to build this product, which we wanted to have residents in this contract marketplace, we chose to build it on a 3.2 millimeter platform, which is noticeably thicker than most other products in the category. We think that that's a distinct advantage for both the installer, the contractor, as well as the end user, because it tends to hide and mask telegraphing, which is often associated with glue down LVT floors. We've also chosen to apply a 28 mil or 28 thousandths of an inch 0.7 wear layer that is then protected further by two coats of urethane resin, which are infused with ceramic beads. So it's an extremely durable product from a wear-resistant standpoint, from an indentation-resistant standpoint. And what's most important is that the performance is now sistered up with beauty. The other thing I might add is that from a format perspective, it's also a very wide-ranging relative to the sizes that we offer. In planks, we offer 4 by 36 6 by 48, 7 and a quarter by 48, and 9 by 59. In our tile portfolio, which generally encompasses both stones, masonries, and abstracts, we offer three sizes, 18 by 18, 12 by 24, and 24 by 24. So it's a wide ranging from a format perspective, uh, well balanced from a performance standpoint, and we also think it's a beautiful line that was built really just for this launch. All right, so let's talk about the aesthetics because you've got 100 products you're launching here and you've actually collaborated with two different designers to come out with some really striking looks, haven't you? Yes, we um, partnered in a consultative fashion with two outside designers that are very well known in the industry, uh, a gentleman by the name of Robert Langstaff 
and also a woman by the name of Judy Wolgas. The project involving the development of 100 new designs is quite comprehensive, to say the least. So we chose to use two separate designers that had particular expertise in wood design and then the other in stone and masonry. So Judy designed our entire tile collection, and Robert designed our entire wood grain plank collection, all encompassing uh, right around 100 plus SKUs. Okay, very interesting. Well, the question that I'm sure you get asked a lot, Harlan, is you're stepping up the game here in the LVT business at a time when there are other players that are just entering the market with major investments. So talk a little bit about that strategy. Well, as the big boys put some money on the ground to build some capacity, they're not doing that to lose money. They're smart organizations run by very intelligent men and women, and they're going to build their brands. And those brands are going to stand for something. And I expect they're going to stand for great design, safe, compliant, and sustainable products, and fantastic durability. Well, we felt that uh, we needed to enter at the same or a higher level than them. So we're trying to be the leader because we've got our capacity, we've got our production all set up. We're going to have the first market of a new brand, and we feel that that brand will carry us deep into this game, and, and we look forward to this category becoming a more branded category, particularly as you approach the architect, designer, and big building end users where the investment is very significant. You know, I'm hoping that people can hear this interview. We're in your space, and it's crowded here. I mean, you, it's hardly enough room to move around. So let me just ask you, generally when somebody launches a brand, there's a promise behind the brand. What's the promise behind the Spectre? The promise behind the Spectre is we're going to give you the best-in-class product for performance, for sustainability, for transparency in how we manufacture, and also, most importantly, for leadership in design and continuous innovation. All right, Russ, one last question. I hear you just got breaking news around an NSF-level certification. Tell us about that. It's certainly a pleasure to be here launching a brand for the first time and know that we are the first to have achieved the platinum level. One of the things that's, I think, unique to understand about the NSF 332 certification is that it really goes beyond just the factory and really involves some of the attributes of the company at large. Uh, for instance, one of the things that helped us achieve the platinum standard was our local commitment in Calhoun, Georgia, to have a LEED Platinum Certified office building there that already demonstrates that long before Aspecta became a brand, we were already committed to sustainable responsibility. And I can tell you without question that the audience that is here at this show, architects and designers, if it's not the first question, it's the second question that they ask, and that's relative to our sustainability principles. So we're in a very happy position and a proud position to be able to promote that achievement. Harlan, one last question. I mean, it looks to me like the Stone family is making a huge, huge investment in this business. You feel comfortable with that, right? I feel very comfortable with it. It was a family decision. We sat down and we said, we can run and hide because people are coming, or we can stand up and be who we really are, leaders, which we've been for 40 years. It was a very short meeting, actually. It was about seven minutes long. And we said, we're going to put something back into this business. This business has been very good to my family for several generations. And we want LVT and we want this category to continue to be a growth category and a category that we can be proud to install in the homes and workplaces of people in this country and around the world. And we think with the launch of Aspecta, we are accomplishing that and a lot more. All right, great, guys. Good luck with the Aspecta brand. Again, we've been talking to Harlan Stone, who's CEO and chairman of the board of Metrofloor Contract, and Russ Rogg, who's president of USA of Metrofloor. And you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.